Can you believe it's been 20 years since the Little Rascals hit the big screen? 22 Vision got all the young actors together for the first time since filming this classic from the 90s. Are you ready to catch up with our game? Okay! Ross Bagley played Buckwheat. The rambunctious but adorable little five-year-old was a favorite on set, and the cast remembers him always making up songs. Two of them actually made it into the film, including this memorable little ditty. We got a dollar, we got a dollar, we got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. After the Little Rascals, this talented tyke joined the cast of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with Will Smith, and later teamed up with Will again to play his son in Independence Day. Today, Ross resides in Los Angeles where he's an actor, DJ, and most importantly, a new father of a baby boy. I wonder if his own little rascal will like pickles. Buckwheat's little sidekick, Porky, was played by Zach Mabry, the youngest of the Rascals cast who turned four during filming. We gotta learn to read. Today, Zachary resides in Dallas, Texas, where he works in public accounting. His hobbies include reading, tweeting, and telling jokes at the exact wrong moment. Guess some things never change. No, not that. The other number two. Although she was only five years old, Brittany Ashton Holmes delivered a brilliant performance as the adorable Darla, the object of Alfalfa's attention. And with that smoky voice, she delivered some pretty memorable lines. When he sings, he makes me melt like a popsicle on the 4th of July. You might also remember Brittany from these baby guest ads in the 90s. These days, when she's not traveling the world, the newly married Brittany lives in L.A. with her husband and is currently working on getting a degree. Yep, she really has grown up to be quite a beautiful young lady. You know just what to say to take a girl's breath away. Whether he was ruining Alfalfa and Darla's date or a ballet recital, Travis Tedford always left audiences laughing. But even before playing the iconic role of Spanky and Rascals, Travis was already getting noticed in numerous commercials for Welch's grape juice. Today, Travis resides in Dallas, Texas, where he works as a full-time marketing professional. And he's currently working on completing his bachelor's degree in marketing. Gang, can we get an Azuga? Hey, nice Azuga. Kevin Jamal Woods played Stymie the derby hat-wearing rascal who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with comedy legend Mel Brooks. If you were my kids, I'd punish you. If we were your kids, we could punish ourselves. These days, Kevin is a budding music producer in Texas. This college graduate is also furthering his education in audio engineering. My name is Waldo Aloysius Johnston III. No, that isn't Macaulay Culkin. That's Blake McIver Ewing, who played the snooty anti-hero Waldo. The musically talented youngster created quite the love triangle as he fought Alfalfa for Darla's affection. Audiences may also know Blake from Full House, where he played Michelle's good buddy, Derek. Today, Blake resides in Los Angeles and stars as one of the hosts on Bravo's The People's Couch. He also recently released his debut album, The Time Manipulator, which is available on iTunes. And finally, we have Alfalfa. Nine-year-old Bug Hall beat out thousands of youngsters to land the iconic role of the freckle-faced, wiggly-eared boy with a monster cowlick. Alfalfa was Bug's first role, but certainly not his last. For the past two decades, he's been starring in a number of films and TV shows and is also a budding screenwriter. Let's just hope he doesn't hand his screenplays over to Buckwheat and Porky. Okay! Well, there you have it. They may be all grown up, but they're still just as mischievous as they were back then. Right, Petey? <laughs> and hey, visit 22vision.com to catch up with the rest of the Little Rascals cast and for more exclusive Rascals 20th photos and video.